Just got this chair in the mail that I ordered and I built it. Reason I got this chair is because I used to sit on the couch every day and that was becoming horrible for my body. I used to sit in this chair every day to do my drawing videos or any kind of video. And you can just see a big difference uh, between this chair and this chair. I sit here at our dining table, which I've converted into a, a kind of a drawing video space. So I got the tripod set up, blah, blah, blah. I'll explain all that in future videos. So now I just sit here, it's kind of my office in my small apartment. So I recently had a question from someone about fear and the question was about being afraid of, of starting a painting or being afraid to paint in general. I know what that fear is like. I definitely understand that. I used to just draw all the time a few years back and I uh, slowly started going into painting. And at the beginning, I, I, I kind of painted large in the beginning, you know, 18 by 24, 16 by 20, but a canvas like this, looking at this big blank canvas, can create a lot of fear. A lot of people just freeze up, they don't know what to do, so they have these big canvases sitting around for a while. And really, the thing to do is to have a plan. You gotta have a plan of how you're gonna approach something that large. And even if you're afraid of painting small, uh, maybe start out sketching what you're right. You need some ideas. Getting over that fear, the only way to get over it is to do it. You gotta have courage and just face your fear head on. I don't really like being afraid of, of anything for the most part. I kind of just do it. You know, like making these videos, when I first started making these videos, I was afraid to post them on YouTube uh, because I just, I wasn't confident with speaking in front of a camera. I used to be afraid, I would get so nervous turning the camera on and speaking in front of it. Like I felt like there was an audience already in front of me, like I was, I don't know, it was so strange thinking back at it because now I can just turn the camera on, it's no big deal, I can just speak right in front of it. So you can get over your fear, it's, it takes time. And I'll tell you something that I'm fearful of that's kind of funny. I cannot make a video like this, talking to the camera, if my girlfriend is in the room or even in the same, if she's in the apartment, I can't make the video. If she's sitting over there in her chair, can't make the video. I cannot make, even if it's just a drawing video where I'm drawing and, and not talking directly into the camera, I cannot do it. I just feel like she's gonna judge me even though I know she won't. It's an irrational thought that I have. And I've yet, I've been dealing with this for years, living with her for almost four years now, three and a half, four years. And I cannot, I still have yet to get over this fear. And because it just seems so weird to me talking to you and her like being there. I, I just, I don't know. There's something in my mind that goes, that's weird. I don't want her to judge me. And I, I don't know what she's going to actually really think about me. And I know she'll be fine with it. But to me, it's just an irrational thought that I have. And sometimes that's what fears are. They're just some irrational thought that you have to push through. And something as simple as painting. Sometimes I, I think a lot of people's fear is that they just don't even know what to paint and they don't know how they're going to accomplish that painting. And you may not accomplish it. It's just something you have to do. Uh, even if it turns out to be a horrible failure, it doesn't mean you're a failure. It just means that you failed. So you have to just do it again. What went wrong with it? Assess what went wrong with it. Learn from the mistake. Learn from the failure. Learn from your mistakes. That's the, the greatest thing you can do to improve and progress in life. And the only way, only way to get over your fears is to keep pushing through it and reaching that next level, that next stage of courage, basically, um, and not conform to the rest of uh, society. You know, another fear I have is filming out in public with people around. It was, I tackled a lot of fears filming that plain air series I did last year, last summer. I have to drive to it, I'm not biking to it, so I'm just about to get in my car, I'm gonna go paint the sunset. I was out in public, there were people around, and I didn't even like painting in front of people. I didn't want anyone watching me. And then talking into the camera, that, that took a lot for me to do, but by the end of the series, I was so confident that it was like, who cares, man, I don't even, I don't even care. Because you guys love the videos, who cares if people see me talking into this camera because I know what it's about. I don't, I'll probably never see these people again anyway. For me to do like a vlog type video outside like this and just hold a big big camera in front of me 
and talking to it, that's still very bizarre to me. And that's a fear that I hope to just get over in the next, in, in this year, just get over it and start filming outside and just start doing a whole bunch of different things that I'd really like to do and stop letting my fear hold me back. So that's that's the reason there. That's that's the, not the reason, that's the, you know what I mean, that's the end of the video. So that's what it is. Fear is just, you have to just do it. You gain confidence by doing it. It may not feel great at first. You won't regret doing it for the most part because you'll be pushing yourself and improving yourself and that's what it's all about. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next. Peace.